It's time to get a little bit high off of Lucky Time Explosion. Wow. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Classic radio noises. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Wednesday. My name is Brandon Weiscarver. This is Morgan Lappin. And we have a special guest today, Boris mm. Bernard. What's up, dude? All right, all right, all right. Merry Christmas. For people who don't know mm-hmm. you, tell them a little bit about like what you do, who you are. Uh, well, I'm a... Uh, I'm I'm one. One, I'm I'm pretty crazy, but I, you know, I do street art. I'm a printmaker. I'm a street artist. That's right. I like to say I'm a Dadaist. A Dadaist. Yeah, yeah, I like that about you. You do say that a lot. What do you love yeah. about Dada? Uh, you know what? I, for one, I like the era that it came out of. Yeah. And then, well, that well that would be second. But the primary thing I do like about Dadaism is like the functionality of it. Like it was mm. like found objects and. It's whatever I want to do, you know. It's my jam. Yeah, it's yeah, my jam. Yeah. It, was, yeah. it was a problem I ran into, like, uh, as I started being involved with shows and doing art shows. And um, Castle Fish John Gallery. Oh, yeah. The guy there, Vincent, he said to me, Boris, you don't ever have a particular theme. You know, you just kind of just make stuff. It looks cool. People like it. I, I'm pretty sure people buy your stuff. But, you know, I want you to produce a show with a theme. And in my head, I was like, I don't want to do that. I had a very similar situation where there's this company, I won't name them, but I, I went to see them at their office, brought my portfolio, mm. showed them all my stuff, and they're like, Morgan, we really like all your stuff, but you're all over the place. Yeah. Yes. And I was like, but that's that's what I do. That's what the fuck I do. Like, what the fuck? I don't know it? how else to do <laughs> yeah. it any other way. I can only be me. So it was an interesting experience uh, hearing that, you know? That is interesting to me because both of you guys, I, get I feel it, like you both make very distinctive. Yo, and, he like, was showing me his work. What the fuck, yeah. bro? It's but you know what? It's hard as artists. <laughs> Yo, too much way tape. more advanced than too me. Way no, more advanced than me. I don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> it's hard when you're the artist, but it takes someone outside looking in like Brandon to look at other artists work right, and right. to be able to see something that obviously the artist is not seeing. Well, that, that's why I'm surprised to hear that because like, <coughs> I think you and both of you have like such a distinctive style and I feel like you do have themes a lot. You know, you're constantly working with like architecture and imagery specifically from the seventies. You're doing like, you know, I've seen you do like Alicia Keys or famous, uh, like right. hip hop artists or yeah, your yeah, friends who are yeah. around you. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah there, there is a, um, there is kind of like a general thing, but I guess like, and I have to I have to respect what what he said was you know you want to tell a story, right? You know what I mean? And it's like, I mean, no, I just <laughs> I just want to make what yeah. I want to make. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, and you can make your own story. Yeah, That's right. for the for the owner. Yeah. You know? Yeah, if you want to make a story, you'd write a novel, right? Like, I mean, hey. You That's know. silly. But yeah, I, I would, as you say, when people ask me, especially when they ask for like the artist bio or the artist statement, I'm like, I right. make stuff. Yeah, it's always a tough one. My favorite artist statement was Miley Cyrus's when she's like, I used to sit around and get stoned and do nothing. Now I sit around and get stoned and hawk loose shit to other shit. And I was like, oh my God, that's that's actually the most honest artist statement I've heard. Yeah. But but you now what's, what's crazy is like, I would say this, like I was telling, I'm bad with names. Morgan. Morgan. I was telling Morgan, uh, you know, I had spent 10 years in L.A. before I came to New York. So those 10 years I was in L.A., in my 20s and into my 30s, I um, I was exposed to street art, you know. Um, Do you have any favorites from out there on the West Coast? Yo. Well, my favorite graffiti artist is uh, Mir One, mm. CBS crew. He actually, he actually had an exhibit at the last Art Basel at the Museum of Graffiti. Oh, cool. Like, yeah, yeah. Mirror One is hands down my favorite artist. Nice. That I've seen in LA. Then my boy Ace Bourne, who's doing crazy murals. Like, gee, like, I saw his evolution. It's nuts. But I would say, as far as like wheat pasting, there's a, um, a person or collective, I might, might want to say, it's called Restitution Press. Mm. So, like, when, like when the Mr. Brainwash thing happened, you um, mean the movie came out? Yeah, but yeah. Just, or just the campaign that happened that, that the content that the film is based on that happened in L.A. Right. Uh, prior to Brainwash, it was Restitution Press. Restitution Press was fucking everywhere. And they got this famous um, where he's like covering his face like this mm. and he's got the L.A. hat on and it's just... It's just legendary. And it got outshone by Mr. Brainwash? Um, well, I mean, it he was... showed up? <laughs> I mean, you know, that 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 whole... Though it's dated now, 
that yeah. wave was like it was stupid because I remember near Con Artist, um, I was going to the hotel nearby and mm-hmm. I was trying to like schmooze on behalf of all the artists, the con artists, and be mm-hmm. like, hey, let's get your art in this hotel. You know, mm-hmm. they want to be street art. They have like this graffiti shit everywhere. I'm like, listen, you're down the street on the actual <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Like, like graffiti collective. Like, let me do that. And they were like, oh, we love art. We love art. But we already spent $6.8 million on Mr. Brainwash. They bro. filled the whole fucking. Bro. And I'm like, everyone hates you now. <laughs> bro, bro, bro. Well, well you know what, what What the truth be told is, and this is what I like. Because, you know, I, I spent 10 years in New York scene, 10 years in the L.A. scene. What I like about the L.A. scene, Brainwash did his thing. Don't get me wrong. It's what it was, right? Yeah. But when it kind of, after the film came out, people really got privy to what it was about. Yo, I'll never forget he had a pop-up at this building that was going to get demolished. Yo, they were in there cutting his pieces up. Wow. Like, the L.A. people <clears throat> don't fuck with him. Uh, that's rude, though. You know, like... I, mean, I might might like a scathing commentary or an article, yeah, but I'm yeah. not going to go rip someone's article. I mean, yeah, I mean... That's the, next level. I that's mean, that's and, crossing and the line. Some gang shit. I know? mean, I mean, I, I just... I would say, like, like uh, I, I have this picture that my friend uh, Sarah Schneiderman took. Sarah's awesome. And uh, cause she hung out with me for a couple of days. She was like, yo, you live this crazy life. You need to document it. This is when I got privy to like, oh yeah, like I don't have pictures of shit I've done. I just do it. <laughs> right, right, right. So there's this wall in the art district, um, third in traction. And on this wall, it was pretty much like the who's who of the street art scene. Mm-hmm. And so if you put something up there and you were like a nobody, they're going over that shit. You right. know? So it was definitely like a um like five points or Freeman Alley here. Yeah, it's like you had to have that rep, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was there during that, that during that heyday of street art in LA, but I was not Boris Bernard. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like. Um, Did you have like a name? No, no, no. Actually, because um, one of the first things I remember from you was like your, the giant wee piece of your face. Right, right, it's right. Just your right, head right. and glasses. Right, right, right. <laughs> well, well, well. What's funny? The monument it, to your very minuscule ego. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tiny, tiny, tiny little bit, tiny, tiny little, little bit, tiny little ego. No. Um, so, okay. So, I, I learned from this dude Brian Hakes, mm. right? And uh, his shit was everywhere. It's a long story. I met him through this art show called Cannibal Flower, that was produced by uh, Think Space. Mm. I know Think Space. Yeah, LC. Yeah, LC. LC's fucking dope. And. Um, and so he came by the shop I was working at. I worked at a marijuana shop in L.A. It's a long story. And um, he came through, and, he, you know, I asked him about it. And he was like, yeah, I'll show you. And he showed me, and I went nuts. And so I started becoming, like, the guy. To do the screen printing for anybody? Or, or just wee pasting. Wee paste Because right. I was just geeked out on doing it, you know? Yeah. I never took it as, like, I'm going to do this for real. And, uh, I'm going to hire you to do wee pasting. Hey, You're man. still doing it. Yeah, 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 I am. It's... it's was not my goal. I went to school for political science. Huh? <laughs> really? I got into weed pasting. I don't. I didn't know up. that about you. Wait a minute. You yeah. went to school for political science. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to Virginia State University. Oh wow! What was yeah. your, what was the impetus there to study that? Uh, was there anything like any particular event or something? Well, you know, I mean, my family was military, so I come uh. up in that kind of structure, and I was originally going to school to be a teacher, and they made me take like this like survey test thing, hmm. and they called me into the office. They were like, uh. We don't think you need to be in the classroom. Interesting. You, you are. The you need to be making policy. Yeah, sir. yeah. Like, like, like the way you think, the way you answer these questions. That's more. Like, you don't need to be teaching people stuff, but like structuring to how to make it easier to teach, how to get access to things, how to upgrade things. They're like, you're good at that. We don't think, and I didn't believe them at first. Interesting. Fast forward. Yeah. They were they were spot on. But uh, but yeah, no, I um, my dad was poli sci too and philosophy. He got a double majors in political right. science and philosophy. Ended up working at a cable television company. Bro, it's it's a mind <laughs> fuck. It's a mind fuck, bro. But I, but I would say like by the time you, by the time I became Boris Bernard, um, that no, is your name, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. But this okay. So true shit, true shit, true shit. It was so, like a rebirth. Yeah. So okay, so I'm working at Amazon distribution, and. I'm back in Virginia. I left LA. I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I wanted to pursue the art shit, right? And so, in the back in the bathrooms, they have all these signs of like fun fun facts about Amazon, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. So, so if your pee is brown, <laughs> press this button. <laughs> so what it what it said was that the name Amazon was picked because A would list him 
alphabetically first. first yeah. Right? And I and I was like, that's interesting. No, so my, my So you see all the all the old A one stuff from you know, back in the phone book days. And so like my my last name starts with an S, but my middle name is with a B. Uh, so I was like, oh, as hard. a wise carver, I think that's smart. <laughs> Yo, man. That was the last one. Yo, it's always. so annoying. And so, you know, I met Akeem and everything, and we did that show. But uh, a girl from Muscat mm. was there. The glasses place? Yeah, the glass yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. So those are Muscat shades, actually. Uh, it's Terry Richardson edition. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's a whole it's a whole ethos. I knew like, they were iconic for some reason. And you know what? I didn't realize that I was snatching a lot of Terry Richardson photos. Cause, oh yeah, because he does the white background. It's okay. You can steal from Terry. You know, <laughs> right, 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 right. Yo, he yo he bowed out very gracefully. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he had much of a choice. He did yeah, not he put up a fight. A he did he not. Just like, yep, I did that. <laughs> <Bye-bye>. Yep. <laughs> Oops. I saw him. I ran into. I didn't say anything because he doesn't know me. I, I uh, saw him at a Steely Dan concert. <laughs> what? Yeah. Wow. That's funny. And that concert. Woo, woo, yeah, woo. I was about to say that's a that's a. Oh, I, like, I, sat, I sat next to Beckett and Alanis Morris at concert. That was what? weird. Yeah. That I is. Like, Why are you doing here? And why are you drinking a dirty martini? Where'd you get that? <laughs> That crazy Scientologist. No. Yo, yo, okay, yo. So, yo, let me tell you something, bro. On Hollywood Boulevard, from Vine to, like, Cahuenga. Yeah. Like, Hollywood Boulevard runs east and west. So they have, like, the, the, the Scientology buildings, right? So I used to work at this smoke shop called Taboo Smoke Shop. It was, like, closer to Vine, you know, the corner of Hollywood and Vine. Taboo. Yeah, 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 bro. I did a lot of taboo in that motherfucker. <laughs> you, know I mean? you know what I mean? You know what I mean? They had the peep show a couple stores down. What you know? Whatever, whatever. Anyway, it was Hollywood shit. Um, yo, the Scientology people, they run that block. Yo, no lie. Yo, they have a fucking like a children's center, center place. Yeah, and they and they come off like after school program. It doesn't imply that it's Scientology. Yeah, you know what I mean? And then you get to talking to them. <laughs> Yo, you never know. It starts out so nice, and then, and then aliens, and then just aliens. Yo, yo, yo! They have these fucking vitamin pack kits that yeah. the people eat yeah. to like. Yo, to you be ever, a, you ever to get their thetans in line? You ever get your hands on any of those? Uh, <laughs> no comment. No comment. You no ever comments. trip into the Scientology? Is it, is no hey, you know what? I had a I had, I had a homie that was was doing it. He was doing the um, interviews where they. To help you become clear, oh, yeah, were yeah. they trying to, to recruit clear. you at any point? Yes, oh, they yes, did. yes. They did yeah. try to what was that girl's you? name? <laughs> Should do some Scientology prints. That'd be yo, fun. yo, yo. They were. You have on to wear her. a mask when you put it up, though. They'll yo, fucking come after you. Yo, they. Tom Cruise, don't piss him off. Yeah, that's, yo, how the, that's how the yeah. whole um, anonymous thing happened. A lot of people don't realize that the anonymous like hacker group mask. Mm-hmm. The reason they used the Guy Fox mask in the first place was well because of Guy Fox, but. Uh, that actually started as a way to protect their identity in physical, in real life protests of right. Scientology. Right. So they saw, I don't know how they landed on Guy Fox, but they all decided to start wearing Guy Fox masks in order to protect their identity from Scientology. And that led into Anonymous. Wow. Using, that would be funnier uh, if that. they like wow. chose Freddy Krueger mask or Jason mask yeah. instead of. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> it's like a Chucky, like nice guy dolls, Chucky mask. Hey, That'd be you, you know what? So I've always envied, you know, Brandon knows this about me. I'm narcoleptic, right? So, and I was born in the 80s, so Freddy Krueger was the shit. But I'm narcoleptic. I fall asleep all the time. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I don't fuck You see with, him? Did he I ever don't enter fuck your... with Freddy, bro. I would, I'm not I cool off Freddy, he, bro. Has like, he ever entered your dreams? No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. So no. you're good. So not you're good. I mean, but still, like, just, like, the thought of the guy that tortures and kills people only comes around when you fall asleep. Nah, That's bro. Nice. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I only. I think that my brain will only allow me to believe you're narco- narcoleptic like 80, 90%. There's like 10% doubt because we've known each other for so long. Yeah, yeah. Back at the studio and be like, Boris, you're sleeping. Like, are you sleeping I'm like, in the no, studio? Like, no, no, I'm just not. He's like, I'm narcoleptic. And I'm like, that's convenient. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, you know what? You know what? What tripped me out was I had to accept. Like when I start having a sleep attack, like the nod. You see me do the nod yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. right? And so I didn't know people that don't know me or like when I'm on the train, I look like a heroin addict. Oh yeah, oh, they think you're nodding I off see. on the eight. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. it's what came to New York is when I first. You ever like wake up with like a muffin in your hand and a note being like, "You can do this." <laughs> <Give it> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yo, yes, yes, yo, yo, let yo. Yo, I, I gotta stop putting muffins in sleeping people's hands. Yo, I don't know man. if they're narcoleptic or. <laughs> Yo, man. Uh, um, somebody had 
unzip because I, I sleep with my book bag like this. Uh, yeah. What unzip what? And so the it's lady unzipped the book bag. Oh, and she put God. fifty dollars in the book bag, a wallet, and um. What? A, okay, I'm gonna go sleep on the train. Oh, I was saying like like yeah, I've, no. I fell asleep in places. Oh, and, yeah. and people have like left stuff for me. It's because like the routes that I take, I'm like a regular. Right the route, so people like recognize you, or like I think one of the things that unlike LA here, I would be out doing the street art shit so often, mm. and then it'd be like I would paced all night, and then I hop the train because you stay in the Heights, so I'd be downtown, then I'd take the A train or the one train back, you know, uptown, and so I'm going home to go to sleep. And people are going to work. So they're like all studious and shit. Oh, yeah. And I look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that means less people will fuck with you. Yeah. Quick question. Yeah. Do you do you have like a secret recipe for your wheat paste? Do you like, have you yes, perfected yes. your... Yes. Uh, <laughs> the, one, the one that I'd have no problem telling people because it's kind of like a... I, don't I know, know. It's uh -huh. a trade secret. You well, don't well, no, it's, really... it's a common sense thing, right? So um, flour water sugar is the standard recipe, right? Right. right. So sugar, you know, is what makes it gives it the adhesiveness, right? So uh, I tell people use molasses or that's, um, that's good. translucent corn syrup. Yeah, translucent. translucent corn syrup, yeah. I'm talking like corn syrup, you can literally just boil a little bit of water and add it to the corn syrup and that's, just, that's damn near the glue. Because yeah. I want to do it. I definitely want to... Uh -oh. You want to get out there? What do you mean? I uh -oh. have to put a mask on and stuff, you know? What? They don't you give know. a shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I almost got caught once. Yeah. Many moons ago, uh, down off the uh, Montrose L. Okay. I was like on the corner of Waterbury and Skulls, somewhere near Anchored Inn. This is so incriminating. Uh, and I. <laughs> yeah. And I was with a friend that was from Mexico that didn't have any documentation. Whoa. Nice. So we, you know, I saw a car coming my way down Waterbury and oh, it had yeah. one light out. Yeah. And for some reason in the back of my head, I just got this weird like spider sense. I swear, I don't know even how else to right. describe it. Right. And I was like, I bet you that's a cop car, the one with the light out. And weird. sure enough, they swooped around and yeah. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm just dropping everything. I started walking up the street with my friend. Mm -hmm. And I see the car do a U-turn. I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. So they come up and they roll up and they're like, hey, what, you, what were you doing down there? I was like, and I thought really quick. I was like, you know what? I'm an artist. And I saw a backpack and I started looking through it. And, and there was nothing that I really needed. And like, they're like, you kind of look like you were putting on some signs up there. It was like on a, on a you know, post box. Yeah, you know? Right, 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 right. And uh I was like, nah, nah. I just sometimes I, I take weird garbage home and I turn it into art, and you know, <laughs> things, weird objects get my attention. This is and not. That's, that's this all is not I did. This is not far fetched. Yeah. This is so, not far so, and then they left me alone. But I was like, I was pretty freaked out. Yeah. I was pretty I freaked out. I feel like out. that's your your mo. Like you just immediately you tell you tell people you're an artist when you don't need to. Like go to the <laughs> bank. You're like in line for the bank. You're like, I'm an artist. Yo. Please let. Please do not charge me this fee. You, you know work? what? Yeah. Then you why know? are you even at the bank? You're an artist. <laughs> no, you, no, 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 no. Right hold on. Be here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> and I, I'll say. I'll say this. I'll say this. Right. So, well, if, you, if you're, if you're, you know, you're striking the iron properly yeah. with, with your sales and your activity, right? I will credit, and, and this is not a sponsored ad statement, right? Is it not? Uh, Bank of America and TD. So I was going to Bank of America and I was depositing my check. You know, he recognized, oh, you work at the dive. I was working at our Doc Holidays at the time. I was oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, he recognized, oh, yeah, I know the lady. But then I was like selling pieces and I'm, I'd come in and dump $1,300, $1,800. He'd be like, damn, what the fuck? So I, I came in one time with all my stuff. I had art pieces. Mm. He was like, oh, you're an artist. He said, look, there's a particular loan for people that what you do where you can just pay off the loan, like you have your monthly rate, yeah. or you could just pay it off outright, say if you come into uh, If you come into money. In the money like that. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, what? So, you know, but then I looked up first time home buyer program and TD had a better program. Mm. And when I went to TD, I immediately told the lady what I did. I showed it to her and she told me about the same program. Oh, yeah. Now, but the people at Chase didn't talk like that. I, I have to say, yeah. If, uh, Chase invented the different way of sponsoring the art by right? just <laughs> buying up all of the abstract expressionists 
artwork and putting it in their lobbies Yo, <laughs> and making yeah. the MoMA or whatever. I heard recently that I think it's like Canada. I might be wrong. I think Canada or no, Ireland. That's what it was. Ireland just started a program for um, like giving artists like 400 bucks a week. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No strings attached. Yo, I still just talk. to do whatever. You remember the, the wheelchair guy? Yeah. I still talk what? to him. Oh, yeah. OG Cats. OG Cats. Yeah, OG yeah, Cats. yeah, yeah. He's, he's up there, dude. He's, he's right. I, I actually talked to him not that long ago, too. I, I so we're moving line. to Ireland? No, we, uh, yeah, we got to move <laughs> to Ireland. No, there's <laughs> Wait only like, a minute. But even then, they're only like letting, it's only a program for like 2,000 people. Oh. Like, it's capped at like 2,000. They're wow. like, we're going to try this, though. So, I don't know. Maybe one day <sighs> New York will get their shit together. Yeah, that's probably why I said Canada, because the wheelchair right. homie who came yeah, by. Yeah, yeah, he's He cool. was the first artist to like get major, he's the first graffiti artist right. to get funding from the government to like go do a residency. Yeah, that was the thing. That was the thing. That was, that the was thing. cool. Wait, do you talk to Miff? Miff? Miff, the Australian girl. The <gasps> night- Miff. Yeah, Miff. Miff Dude, was I badass. Need to, I need to hit up Miff. Yeah, Miff was actually like pretty much legitimately the best intern we she ever had. She was fucking amazing. She was on it. She was yo, good. Yo, yo, tr- yo, true story though. True story. I hope she fucking sees this, right? So, oh, yeah, yeah. I'll send it to her. For yo, sure. so... I was doing the Boris thing at the corner, right? Oh, yeah. We and, have stories. We, we go back a little bit. <laughs> we go we back a little stories, bit. Frenemies. <laughs> and, and so, and so my, my favorite friend of me. We yeah. made a lot of money together. I have to give you that. And so Miff was like, I asked Miff to do something. And she said, Boris, she's like, I did not. I'll never forget how she said. She said, I did not plan on coming to New York City and meeting some guy that does street art named Boris that is so manipulative and fucking controlling with your fucking spider web. She's like, no, I'm not doing that. You cannot control me. And I was wow. like, shit. And this girl's 19. She's yeah. like a teenager. She's like a baby face, like Yo, but, teenager. And like she's so Australia. sweet. Did but, she pull a knife right after that? No, but, and she didn't really like, 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 come here, I gotta talk to you, Boris. You know, because I, I asked her to do something. She's like, "Oh, Boris, I want to talk about that." That's that Australian. Or Yo, she, she tripped me out with She's that. New Zealand or Australian? But I think it's Australia. It's Australia. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. yeah it's Australia. It's Australia. Yeah, she. They hate when you get that wrong. And then what's, one of them. what's his name? <laughs> um, what's the guy that does the mosaics? Um, oh God. Um, he he just did a show. You know, uh, talk about the cardboard stuff. No, Tommaso, no, 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 not Tommaso. This other guy from Australia. He did. Um, I do remember him. I don't remember his name at all, but I know who you're talking about. Oh my god, yo! He when he came to Con Art, he was talking about opening a gallery, right? Yeah. He went back to Australia. He's got this gallery open. It's Fugazi Gallery. Ooh. It's fucking up and jumping. He nice. had. I was in a group show that he did at. Not uh, Michael Sharp. Michael Sharp did video and stuff. Who was the? Who was the dude I always, doing? I always forget his name. Yo, he is yo. Real. He is really doing it, man. He yeah. what he came and talked about at Con Art. He's acting. They just released a zine. Like Con Art really influenced, gave him a lot of like, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do this and that. I can do. It showed a lot of people that they can do stuff. Yeah, and uh, there was like, yeah, I can't remember her name either. It was a YouTuber. It was like a million followers or something. Started at right, yeah, started yeah, started a con yeah. artist there to do that, and it took off, and it was amazing. She came back and bought a nice jacket and stuff, and it was cool to see that. What was the crazy story you remember from there? I mean, what was the weirdest shit that happened to us? Hey, man. A lot of stuff. Hey, man. I don't know how much of it we can, would want to talk about publicly. Yo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. I, and you say that, I'm like, well, I like, can't Ooh. say that. I can't say that. Not safe for you No, know, no, no. You know, okay, 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 okay. Oh, what? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say his name wrong now. Yeah. Was it was it Dimitri or Demetrius? It's Dimitri. Dimitri, right? Yeah, you always say Demetrius. Demetrius, right, right. Which right. I like. You're trying to give him a little bit extra class there. You know, Demetrius right, right. sounds like a, so, a professor. Okay, so Dimitri. Wait, he's a professor. Yeah, he is a professor. So, I, so I would say Dimitri was a friend of me, and so and so you guys like clashed a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> and so I started like really playing into it. I really did. I was being a jerk about it, right? Just for fun. And so, and so when I did the, um, yeah, yeah, okay, this is gonna get me in trouble, but it's I don't give a fuck. Though. I'm loving this. So you know, he would always be like, "Oh yeah, you don't understand because I'm Jewish," uh-huh. right? And so I got a friend that does studies Hermetics, and he reads Hebrew and Amharic and whatnot. And so we had this saying called legend. You know, like we like to say, you know, when. Uh, I remember this piece. Yes. And yep. so people call each other, oh, peace, king. Oh, what's up, king? And my homie would say, yo, not everybody's a king, but anyone can be a legend. You know, you, mm. you this is this is a fact, right? So he always said, yo, you a legend, you know, right? So I looked up the word. So listening to Dimitri always talk about Jewish, right? And my homie is always saying this. So to be funny, right, I had this piece with 
uh, Childish Gambino is holding a gun to Kanye's head, right? And it's the picture of Kanye with his hands up in Madison Square Garden. So it looks like Childish Gambino was like sticking him up, right? right. And so I was just gonna do that. And Dimitri kept pissing me off when he would bring up the Jewish thing, you know? And so I've, I found the word legend in Hebrew. That's cool. So we were- It looked cool. It looked cool. So, but the thing was, so remember I told you I wait till last minute to make my pieces, right? So he does, he, Dimitri would do the, like, that theatrical shit. When oh, he yeah, would, the boxing. Yeah, when he, when, boxing. He, when he would hang his pieces before the show, right? And so we hung the show up, and what I did was I waited until the last minute, and then I hung my pieces right next to his with the Hebrew text. Right, on. that's awesome. And he was so mad. And then it was like this Jewish kid came uh, and bought the piece. Yeah, yeah, totally. Oh, totally. That must have really pissed him off. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I would feel like if yeah, I was, was Dimitri, I would say that I would take that as a compliment because he influenced he you. He did. Right. I, yeah, to do something that you wouldn't normally do. Yeah, so I, like, if I was him, I would be like. That's cool. I, but I, I think a lot differently. Well, no, but Dimitri but, was Dimitri was definitely trying to be. Yeah. Friendly with me, and I was just taking advantage of him yeah. being a jerk. I, well, I remember that piece, and I thought that was funny because, like, just because it was Hebrew uh, and image of like black people and not and not Jewish people, yeah, like, people didn't know what it was about. Yeah, they yeah, know yeah, what's yeah. Going yeah. On, so they just kind of like defaulted to offended. <laughs> <laughs> they saw it, and they were just like, "What is this? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't yeah, know how. Like, yeah. I see Hebrew, and I don't, I don't know. I'm I don't offended. know what to think. I don't know what to think. It's a legend. That's nice. Yeah. Oh. Cool. oh yeah. I don't like when people call me king. I had a guy last night call me king. He was like, "Thank you, king." And I was like, "I don't, I don't know." Why I, don't I don't mind like king. It. You know what I don't like? What? Guy. Guy. Oh, guy. Shit. I say guy to everybody. Hey, guy. <laughs> yeah, that's a little. There's a little, there's a little demeaning. There's a little demeaning. Do it is cool. It is a little demoralizing. Do it is much, okay. Though. King King's is a lot. Much. That's responsibility. Yeah, yeah. I don't want that. Yeah. I don't want responsibility. I'm not a king. Like, 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 and kings get their head cut off. Yeah. Yeah, they have like they want to kill you. That I don't want to do. Right. I'd rather have someone say, "Hey, fuck face," then. Hey, guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather oh, fuck face than guy. That shows you where I'm at with guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, you also like, I feel like fuck face is, you know, you like that. That's your yeah. speed. I mean, listen, you know, I grew up with uh, comics like uh, Andrew Dice Clay yeah. and uh, oh, right, Jerky right. Boy. Jerky Boy, yo. The Big proto. influence My on teeth. the edge lords of teeth. comedy. <laughs> yeah, jerky Boy. Jerky Boys, we we, we got to get him on. Yeah, we got to get the Jerky Boy. Uh, I, I speak to him. Get him in here. Yeah? Get him yeah. in here. Yo, that my teeth one Jimmy fucked Br me That'd up, cool. bro. My teeth, <laughs> we did Bobby. I, I wake up. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> unzipping. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Oh, my God. Ah! <laughs> yes, yes, that was the shit. I'll have to play a clip of that. That's did you nice. ever see the movie, the Jerky Boys no, movie? No, no, I never saw the movie. Oh, you got to no, see the movie. What? Oh, it's a classic. Yeah. Basically, they, they pranked the wrong people they wind up pranking like the uh, the mob oh, well. and then they get in like real deep and have to now like make believe they're part of the other mo family mob <laughs> and they, it just gets fucking crazy nice. and actually pussy from uh sopranos is is one of the actors in the mob no in, in that movie wow we'll have to check that out oh it's amazing oh, we only have a couple minutes left boris what do you got going on is there anything you want to plug um anything so you're doing out lately? so the main thing i want to plug is uh june 14th i've got a, a show my um, ten-year retrospective with uh, Akeem Duncan from Ooh. Quiet Lunch. We're gonna do it in Kiwanis at the Yard. Oh, uh, very nice. Yeah, the I big got, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got. Yeah, that space is huge. Jesus. Oh, I gotta get after that. And um, I got that going on. And Juneteenth at the Yard. Yeah, and I'm unveiling this piece with this uh, rap artist named uh, Great God. And. Oh. Uh, Grape God? Great God. Great, great God. God. Great God. Yeah. I like Grape God, too. I like Grape you know? God. But yeah. yeah. And uh, it's called The Wrath of God. It's a very politically motivated piece. It's, it's uh, yeah, I got, I, got, I got a bunch of shit going on, but those are the two main things. Do you remember right? that dude, um, speaking of God and art, do you remember that dude um, who, like, he's an Asian guy, and he started out, he's getting all popular everywhere, and then he just totally went off the, the rails and took, like, the right wing... Uh, like Christian conservative route. Um, mm. Man, I'm gonna have to. I'm spacing on his name. An Andrew Anthony Andrew Kwong Kong. Kong? No, I'm not Kwan Andrew Kwan. Yeah. No, I thought we I thought we hung out with him once maybe before. We probably did. Yo, we did some wild shit. He was uh, he's he's 
done something interesting. Yo, man. <laughs> Yo, man. I, I was, I'm excited for the yard show, though. That'll be cool. Well, I mean. Ten years. It's a lot of it's weed paste. It's a lot of weed pacing, man. I mean. A lot of glob. I just want to say for on the record, Brandon. Yeah. It was awesome being with you at Con Art. It and, was. And, and primarily because, dude, I was just high all the time, bro. <laughs> I was so drunk and just shrooms. You that. must have been, because I don't know what else would get you to hide your socks where you did. Yo, man. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. This is what we should have started with, is with the, the socks. socks. No. Yo, yo. Save the best for last. Yo, this know. is what I'm telling you. Like, he's apparently organized. Like, yeah. I was telling him, I'm not, I'm not organized, bro. I have my shit well, all over the place. You know, place. we'll get to it next time, because I'll definitely, oh. oh, you're good. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll get to it next time because I definitely will have you back on. Let's, yeah. ha let's have you back. It'll be fun. Definitely. Thanks yeah. for having me, guys. Of course. Thank you for joining us. Don't Talk forget to Patreon. subscribe. Do all that. Patreon. You know what to do. Click the bell. Blah, send blah, us, blah. Send Love us you. comments, letters. Yeah, tell Morgan what you think of his let pretty face. Let us know. Morgan's right. art is fucking awesome. Peace. Bye.